Today we're back on the Alum Creek Trail. We're starting it from Livingston Avenue and we're going to head down to Three Creeks. This is Livingston. One of the first things you're going to notice is that the trails are well marked. Columbus this way, Groveport that way. This particular bridge was supported by the Columbus Metro Parks levee that passed a few years ago. As the trail progresses, we slowly are climbing uphill and it eventually opens up into a beautiful lake. The first real bridge we encounter is the I-70 underpass. Be prepared because once you go underneath this bridge, you're going to go up a very steep climb to the bridge that you see currently on the page. And here we are at the top. Once you cross the Fetzinger 33 intersection, you're going to be going down the hill. This particular underpass is extremely small and they're no kidding when they tell you that you need to stop. There is not a lot of space in here and the other people as you can see do not see you coming from this angle. You have to actually go out a little bit as you can see just to see if they're coming towards you. The next underpass you'll come to is State Route 104. This particular point floods very easily, as you can see in this picture right here. There isn't a lot of distance between the water itself and the trail, so please, please be careful at this point. As you can see from looking down, there's only a couple of feet before it crests. After the bridge, you'll come to Oxbow Loop. This is actually a mile plus long loop that has some very steep hills down and a very long grade back up. As you turn to the right here after the stop sign, you need to check your brakes because you will be going downhill fairly quickly. If you decide not to do the circle, you'll come out of the thicket and you will be in what used to be Smith Farms area that was recently purchased. This is a beautiful spot coming up that you can take if you just want to take a break. There's a picnic table in there and it was built uh, last summer 2012 and it was dedicated to Lot L. Smith. Stop take a rest and enjoy the scenery. Heron Pond is the next stop on the Alum Creek Trail. This is a beautiful pond and believe me when I say that yes there are herons here. The trail actually loops all the way around the pond, which is about uh, a little bit more than half a mile. There are picnic tables and benches either around the pond or near the pond. There's also a parking area if you want to just stop and take a look at this place.
The last of the bridges for this trip is the I-270 underpass, which we're going through right now. This does not flood very easily. This I would consider the entrance to Three Creeks Park. I would highly suggest you uh, get a little bit of speed going before you try and go up this hill because it is a hill. There's a nice little bridge as you can see that goes over Walnut Creek. The park opens up to a little amphitheater. In the park resides Turtle Pond, which, yes, there are lots of turtles there. There is a walking path that goes all the way around, although it's gravel, so not really meant for biking. I need to mention that at this park, this is where Alum Creek ends and Blacklick Trails begins. 